In the previous episode, we saw Chin Tian tame a panda and named it Shan B. Later, Chin Tian made paper from grass. They left their old tent and built a new house with bamboo, including a kitchen inside. Later, they discovered a sugarcane field. Chin Tian then taught Ellen how to make shampoo and toothpaste, and finally they made it. Later, some wild pigs attacked our panda, and Chin Tian helped the panda defeat them. Meanwhile, Ellen expresses concern over the scratches on Panda's body, however Chin Tian reassures her that our Panda has endured worse. They store the wild pigs in their shed for future food, Chin Tian mentions that, he will find some bamboo for Panda as a reward for his bravery. Continuing through the forest, Chin Tian collects sprouts along the way, as he ventures deeper into the woods, he suddenly panics upon noticing tracks on the ground. He is certain that it couldn't be from a steamroller and decides it's best to retreat for safety. However his panic intensifies, when he hears a noise and catches sight of a titanoboa, the largest snake ever known to exist, and believed to be extinct. As Chin Tian flees, he is shocked by the sight of the titanoboa and wonders, if he will encounter a dinosaur tomorrow. Seeking guidance, he turns to the system for information, surprisingly the system advises him to jump directly into the titanoboa's mouth, make his way down its throat and use a small knife to kill it from the inside. Chin Tian is taken aback by the absurdity of the suggestion, and continues running away, dismissing the idea entirely. In his desperate escape, he spots a slope and slides down successfully, evading the Titanoboa's line of sight. However, panic sets in as Chin Tian contemplates his next course of action. Suddenly, the Titanoboa catches his scent and closes in on him. Chin Tian instinctively uses his dagger to stab the snake, but he realizes that the dagger is too short to reach the heart. In a thrilling turn of events, he finds himself being taken for a ride by the titanoboa. Desperate to survive he considers staying silent in hopes of escaping, then a foul odor reaches his nostrils and he realizes, he has stumbled into the boar territory. The snake notices a boar nearby, as the titanoboa engulfs the boar, Chin Tian seizes as the opportunity to escape lunging away from the chaotic scene. However the encounter ends sooner than he anticipated, he stumbles and continues running desperately hoping to find something useful in the system to aid his survival. Chin Tian realizes that the available rewards have changed, and he regrets missing out on an option, nonetheless he decides to give the horse superpowers option a try, unfortunately the system malfunctions granting him an animal charm feature instead. Panic sets an ass, he turns around and spots a group of boars, hoping they won't notice him. Chin Tian's anxiety intensifies, as the boars draw nearer and eventually, he is spotted in a moment of desperation. He activates the superpowers bestowed upon him by the system, experiencing a sensational burn in his legs. As he utilizes them to run, worried that his legs might give out soon, he notices a pile of feces and decides to dive into it, hoping to lose his scent and evade the boars. As the day progresses, the boars begin to rest in front of Chin Tian. He wonders why the pile of feces is warm and realizes that the released carbohydrates are prevent the heat from escaping. Slowly he loses sensation in his arms and legs, but he fights to keep his mind alert. Fainting in this situation would spell the end for him. Since they are in the territory of the boars Chin Tian doesn't have to worry about other animals. However he remains concerned about the potential reappearance of the snake. Suddenly he spots a flame and hears someone calling his name. At first he wonders if he's hallucinating and hearing Ellen's voice but to his shock he discovers that, it's actually her accompanied by the panda. Ellen notices the herd of boars and questions, why Chin Tian is among them. Before scaring the boars away, Ellen inquires about Chin Tian's well-being, and he assures her that he is fine but very dirty at the moment. He advises her not to approach him, however Chin Tian's legs give way, but Ellen catches him just in time. Blushing she insists that they must move quickly, they both climb onto the panda, and Ellen tells Chin Tian to hold onto her causing them both to blush. They return to camp and Chin Tian washes himself, while Ellen does the same, playfully instructing him not to peek, as she stands behind the panda. After drying off, Ellen goes to bed while Chin Tian checks their food storage, and notices signs of an attack. He wonders if there is a wild animal nearby, but it turns out that Ellen used pig fat to make a torch. Chin Tian attempts to crouch down but feels pain in his bruised knees from using the cheetah superpower to escape the boars and titanoboa earlier. The system rewards him with 7,000 points for successfully evading the titanoboa. Chin Tian offers Ellen some porridge, but she is still asleep. He is shocked that Ellen saved him and never expected her to do so. As they both rest and wake up later to eat, 
Chin Tian informs her that the track she saw belonged to a titanoboa which frightens her. She wonders if they need to relocate from their hideout. Chin Tian assures her that, if they stick to the forest edge while walking, they will be safe. He also expresses his gratitude for her saving him, which brings a smile to Ellen's face. Later in the day Chin Tian begins slicing the meat. In preparation they set it up on the smoking rack, as Ellen asks if it's safe to leave the meat outside. Chin Tian explains that they have no other space available. The following day, Ellen's screen name informing him that, their bacon has disappeared, shocked Chin Tian. He wonders what could have stolen the meat especially, since the panda didn't react to it. He prepares to guard the meat that night, and catch the culprit. As he rests during the day to prepare for the night shift, Ellen offers him some mint tea, urging him to quickly figure out the situation, before they face serious trouble. As Dawn approaches the thief has yet to make an appearance, suddenly Chin Tian spots a golden eagle swooping down towards the meat, he attempts to protect the meat but is unsuccessful. Later in the day, Chin Tian informs Ellen that the thief is a golden eagle. He shares his plan to trap and tame the golden eagle, explaining that they need to keep things normal and hang the meat outside, so the eagle won't suspect anything. Chin Tian prepares a basic trap but when they test it, it doesn't seem to work. Determined Chin Tian exerts more force on the trap, causing the bamboo shoot to smack him in the face. He then instructs Panda to test the trap, as the panda's thick skin will protect him. As Panda pushes on the trap, it breaks making Chin Tian realizes that he needs to make a few more adjustments before it's ready. Later in the day as Ellen wakes up from her nap, she questions whether Chin Tian is certain the eagle will return. Suddenly the eagle appears above them. As the eagle swoops down toward the trap, the rope manages to catch onto its leg. Ellen wonders why Chin Tian isn't approaching the trapped eagle, and he explains that it's not the right time, yet the golden eagle has a deadly beak and if they get too close, it will attack them so they decide to wait until the eagle becomes exhausted. They discuss what to name it and Chin Tian suggests the name Desert Eagle. The eagle looks like it doesn't like the name Sand Eagle. However Chin Tian thinks otherwise and Ellen wonders how they can domesticate the eagle. Chin Tian then asks if Ellen knows what a night owl is. Ellen exclaims that staying up all night is unhealthy. Chin Tian suggests taking turns, watching the eagle and making it awake all the time until it gets tamed. Within the week he tells Ellen to keep watch during the day. While he does the night shift, the afternoon of day one comes and the eagle tries to escape, however Ellen is keeping watch so it won't have a chance to escape. Day two's night comes and Chin Tian finishes creating a toothbrush during his night shift. He tries to ask the eagle's opinion but it ignores him. Day three comes and the eagle is tired. Our panda also helps keep it awake, while Ellen is making a shirt for Chin Tian. Day four night comes and Chin Tian's cooking glue, he smacks panda four. Neglecting his task, our panda gets mad at the eagle instead. Day 5's morning comes and look at this dead tired eagle. It google out loud out of frustration. Chin Tian tells it to surrender. The eagle then willingly surrenders to Chin Tian. Using the pet seal Chin Tian tames the eagle and successfully domesticates it. He then sees its memories and discovers that there is a chick back in its nest. The eagle recovers its health and Ellen is surprised to see it domesticated already. Chin Tian claims that the eagle has a child, Ellen wonders how he knew but Chin Tian claims it was just a hunch, it is also the eagle's mating season in the spring, Ellen then suggests raising the young eagles, Chin Tian agrees and tells her that, he will set out the next day, the eagle lands on Chin Tian's arm protector and Ellen is fascinated by how cool the sight is, however the eagle doesn't like Ellen, yet she cries and wonders why it behaved differently toward her, when the two of them domesticated it, she walks out telling them to watch her, just then the eagle notices something, it walks like a chicken after seeing the fish on Ellen's hands, Chin Tian and Ellen took the day off to refresh their energy, they then set out to look for the young eagle in the mountains, after some walking they set up camp because it was getting dark outside, during dinner Ellen wonders if they can find the young eagle, the forest is too wide and it might take them some time, seeing that the forest is wide, Chin Tian wonders, if it stretches more and if the island is really an undiscovered island, Ellen wonders what he was thinking and Chin Tian makes up a story of wild animals attacking them during the night. The group later sleeps and in the middle of the night, Chin Tian senses something. Ellen also wakes up and notices Panda on guard from the nearby bushes. Wolves come out to attack them. Chin Tian tells Ellen not to panic because Panda is with them. Our Panda roars at them but Chin Tian reminds him not to be aggressive. Chin Tian assesses the situation and says that if Panda loses he and Ellen will be attacked for sure. Just when Chin Tian thought that they were really unfortunate, the wolves got scared of the nearby flame. 
Chin Tian totally forgot about wild animals being scared of fire and asked Ellen to light up a torch. He tells her to move forward. Chin Tian throws his torch and scares off the wolves a bit. He orders Panda to attack wolves. He then scares off the wolves. Knowing the wolves' deviousness, Chin Tian claims that the wolves might still be nearby. The morning comes and the group hurriedly gets out of the forest. They can see the eagle acting up. It seems like they are nearing their destination. The group climbs up the mountains and Ellen feels like giving up. Chin Tian lets Ellen rest while he looks for the young eagle. He climbed the mountain and almost fell. He reaches the top and gasps for air. He enjoys the scene as if he is on top of a skyscraper. He then notices a volcano where plants are growing along the foothills. He plans to look for resources in that area. Later the eagle then gets his attention after Chin Tian forgets their initial purpose. Chin Tian then drops a rope on a steep hill to let the baby eagle perch on it. Using the pet seal Chin Tian communicates with the eagle and it relays the instructions to the baby eagle. Chin Tian was able to pull up the baby eagle. The two birds reunite. Chin Tian immediately grabs the bird and brings it down with him until they reach the bottom. He sighs as Chin Tian swears not to do some climbing again. He then looks for Ellen. Chin Tian discovers writings on the ground that Ellen left to look for resources. The weather gets bad and Ellen arrives while riding Panda. Chin Tian suggests moving fast because the weather might cause landslides. Just then Ellen notices something. An airplane passes by. Chin Tian thinks something happened. Ellen panics because she heard an explosion but Chin Tian tells her to calm down. Chin Tian wonders how an airplane comes to a deserted island. They come out of the forest and arrive at a dead end. Chin Tian suggests stopping first and planning what to do next. Chin Tian mentions how they don't have enough food if they go to the plane's crash site and get back to their campsite. Ellen then suggests replenishing in the camp first and returning. However, Chin Tian disagrees. Chin Tian worries about Ellen. That night Ellen plays with the baby. Eagle. She wonders what to name it. Chin Tian suggests an absurd name again. Ellen sweetly calls it Xiao Bai but names like Sean B and Sand Eagle are better for Chin Tian. The next morning Chin Tian discovers that Ellen procured some pine oil. He claims it can be useful for many things. Ellen tells him to take care. While alone Chin Tian uses his superpower every hour heading to the north. He suddenly arrives in a wetland and orders Sand Eagle to scout the area. He synchronizes his eyesight with the eagle and sees a body of water. He then prepares to head out and check. Chin Tian later arrives at a swamp. He tries to go around it but the swamp covers a lot of the area. There are also a lot of mosquitoes in the area, making Chin Tian worried about infections. He also can't step into the swamp, seeing that it is unmoving meaning it is an area for bacterial development. In the end Chin Tian traversed the swamp. He starts running again to find the plane. He suddenly got caught in quicksand and he changes his position to limit the speed of drowning. He orders Sand Eagle to look for a branch. He brings out ropes and Sand Eagle starts dropping branches. Chin Tian asks for more and starts tying up the branches until he creates a frame of them. He forces himself to climb on the frame of the branches. It took him an hour to escape and he decides to be more careful in this kind of swamp. He recalls the main character of a movie he has seen before. He disassembles the frame and chooses the driest branches. He bundles them and places each bundle on his feet. Seeing that it works on the swamp, Chin Tian starts moving again on top of the swamp. As he gets near the landing area he wonders if there are crews on the plane. Meanwhile on the plane a blonde-haired woman wonders where she landed. She recalls encountering a storm losing control and getting stuck in the turbulence. She was lucky enough to adjust her landing route before crashing. She is glad enough not to have been injured. After her accident she thinks, she is in South America because of the swamps. She wonders if someone is living in the area. She starts calling for anyone but no one is answering. She realizes no one will live on this deserted island. Just when she decided to sleep for the night, she hears some rustling nearby not far away. Chin Tian is shouting and looking for someone, thinking that the crew might be injured. Chin Tian is in a hurry to check on them. Just then Sand Eagle sees a big white bird and Chin Tian asks her to lead him there. Chin Tian finally finds the aircraft and shouts out loud for anyone. He hopes nothing scary happened. Upon checking he doesn't see any bleeding signs. The plane looks brand new but it is an old model. Just then Chin Tian hears someone shouting and sees the blonde-haired woman running away from something. That's all for today. If you want next part, please let me know in the comments.